In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Git. Uh, Git is an open source uh, version control system. It's a terrific way to build websites, uh, add new features uh, without uh, breaking things that are, have already worked on the website, uh, and work in a team uh, where you, everyone works on different parts of the website, and then you merge everything into one uh, production uh, file um, uh, application, rather. So, uh, so this is the Git website. You can read some of the documentation here, learn about it. Uh, you can head over to the download page here, uh, install and Git, and fortunately for you, if you have a Mac, uh, it's already installed for you. So you'll just uh, open up your terminal on your Mac, type Git version, and you'll see what version of Git you have. If you do this on your Mac, uh, you may get a prompt to install the uh, command line tools. Just kind of go through the steps. It's relatively straightforward. It'll just open up this little prompt, click install. It takes about 30 or so minutes, uh, and then you should be able to uh, do this again dash dash version and you'll see what, what uh, version of git you have so you'll be good to go if you're on a pc however uh, you'll need to just scroll down a bit here and it says you're installing on windows click on this link here it'll take you to this page and you'll just go ahead and install uh, rather download the git version appropriate for your windows setup uh, and then you'll be good to go as well so you'll up, open up the command prompt and which will be resemble something like this and you'll be able to do the exact same commands there as, as well uh, you may have heard in the past of GitHub. GitHub is an online repository of projects where people uh, upload their uh, working projects and they have different uh, branches of the project available for uh, the public to view. Uh, you can create private repositories here. They start at $7 per month. So if you want it to be private, uh, that you just have to sign up for the paid account. This allows you to view your project online uh, from any uh, machine and share this project with uh, with the public or, or maybe even your team as well if you guys aren't working in the same uh, space. Uh, Bitbucket is another option uh, to work as a with a Git repository. Uh, however, the, the advantage of Bitbucket is that you can get free repositories whereas GitHub doesn't have that option. So I'll leave that up to you to decide which one you decide to, to choose and use. Uh, you don't need to use GitHub or Bitbucket to work with Git. You can work with Git local in your machine. That's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, so you could, this is, you know, you can work with Git just for your own projects or in a small team environment, and you never really need to use GitHub or Bitbucket. And I'm gonna have a, a link as well to uh, some um, useful commands here, Git commands that you can just reference as you're learning Git. So I'll have a link to this page as well. So this is going to be really handy to have. So like I said, the first thing you need to do on your machine is open up the terminal. Just type git and version and that'll make sure that you have uh, git installed. And uh, once you get that going, uh, we can start uh, working with Git. So the way Git works is if you open up your project file, so here's my Git example folder on my desktop, and in here there's there's no actual uh, Git file. So what we need to do is working with the terminal, we need to navigate to this folder. So the quickest way to do this is just type cd space, just drag this folder into the terminal. It'll have the whole file path for you, like uh, good to go. Just hit return, and you'll be inside the github uh, git dash example folder which is this folder here so now that you're in it what we need to do is initialize git and get in. so we just type git in it once you do that you'll see the git folder uh, created here it's a hidden folder and you never actually have to do anything here this just tells you that git is here it's uh, looking at your project you can uh, start to utilize git commands and all that good stuff so and if you let's say work on a project and you decide in the future you know you really don't need git in your project anymore so all you really simply need to do is just delete this folder and that's it and you have removed git from your project so that's how you install or initiate git into your project but before we proceed and actually do some git stuff we need to do some simple configuration uh, things in your Git. So you only need to do this once the first time you start working with Git. So type in git config dash dash global, so global setting, color.ui true. And you'll see in a little while what that, what that does for you. I'm going to do another command, git config dash dash global space user dot name and just put your name in there and one more git config dash dash global user dot email and i'll put my ucla email right here so this this way the your git has uh it, it, you know it has some 
a credit to in terms of who did it and, and if you need to track somebody down like if you want to check to see who committed something who did something with the git project you'll be able to reference that uh, with this configuration here uh, however if you're working locally this isn't uh, all that important but it's just good something good to, to do uh, when you're starting out with git okay perfect so now that we have this we can start working with git we have git installed here I'm going to type clear just to clear that out for us. We're inside the git example folder so we can start working with git. So the first thing you'll do is check the, the one of the uh, most common uh, commands you'll do is git status. And this just kind of tells you what's going on with the project. So the first thing when you do that, you, this is where that, by the way, that color UI that we applied to set to true, it kind of does this color scheme for us. And you'll see this color change as we work with git. Anyway, so what this does, it tells us all, all the files that git is tracking for us. In other words, if we you know ch change anything here, it's looking at these files. And what we need to do is essentially save a screenshot or like a screenshot it's not really like a, uh, the stage in this project. We just want to save like this instance of the project, basically. So uh, in other words, everything we have here are, is our original project. And so if we open this project up in Sublime Text, here we are in Git Example, you'll see just some uh, basic HTML page, some CSS. Uh, there's no JavaScript. Uh, just some basic folders and files and things like that. So this is our sort of initial project. So what you want to do first is you want to do git add. I'm going to do a period. And what that's going to do is add these files to the staging area. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do git status again. So these will turn to green. So all the different files in, uh, in, uh, inside the folders have now turned to green, which means now this is in the staging area. So it hasn't actually been committed yet. So let's go ahead and commit that. In other words, commit is, could be another way of saying you're saving this instance of the project. So I'm going to do commit, git commit, dash m. And here will be your message. You could do initial commit. So this is the first commit of the project. So once you do that, there's the whole commit. It has been created. So if you do get status now, there's no files. Everything's been committed. You have a saved instance of the project. You're good to go, which means now you can start to add new things to the project. So let me show you an example of that now. So let's go ahead and open up index.html and start adding maybe let's do an h1 tag title of the website, for instance. Go ahead and save that. So if I go ahead and check get status now, it's going to be notified that, hey, this file was just modified. So in other words, we just made some changes to our index.html file. So you'd never necessarily do a commit at this point, but this is how you would do that again. So you could do git add. You could do just the file by itself, index.html, git status. So now that it's green, we can, now that it's in the staging area, we can go ahead and commit. So git commit. Let's do a message for us so we can reference that in later on later on and we'll just say added an h1 tag so you're always saving different instances of your project so what we can do now is we can look at get um uh, let's see here status so everything's been committed so what i want to do now is look at our log and see uh what how many commits we've done so far so you can do git log and what i'll do you could do Git log and it'll show you sort of the long form version of this, but an easier way to look at the log, you do dash dash one line. So this is a lot easier to look at this way. So now we've had two commits. We've done the first one, initial commit, and we've done a second one with, where we added the h1 tags. So if you ever wanted to go back to a previous commit and see what was done over there, all you would do is get get checkout FFA 0444. And now, oops, let's see here. Uh, oh, I didn't do checkout, so let's go ahead and make sure we get that spelled right. And it even kind of tells you, did you mean one of these things? So it kind of tries to help you out. Let's do get checkout, FFA, 0, 1, 2, 3. Perfect. So now if we look over here, now we can see what the project was like uh, in that instance. So if you do get branch now, you'll see that we're inside the head portion detached at uh, this instance of the commit. I want to go back to the master where we had everything good to go. So I'm going to go get checkout master. So now we're in the master project. This is the last commit that we did to it. Everything looks good here. So now we let's say we wanted to add a new feature to the website, maybe like a slideshow, something like that. But we want to alter the master. So the master of the project, that this is our 
pristine version of the website. Everything here is working just like we want it to work. So what we want to do, we don't, we don't want to work in the master. We want to do nothing in the master. We only want to move things or merge things into the master once we're happy with the features that we've added. So the way we do that, we need to create a new branch. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what the, the, the command for that is git checkout dash b and then the name of the branch. So let's do feature uh, let's just do slideshow for instance. So that's what we'll call that branch. So if I do that, it, it created the branch slideshow. If you do get branch again, you'll see that all the branches that we have, we have the master branch and we have the slideshow branch. And this color scheme, and this asterisk tells us we're inside the slideshow branch. So now we can go ahead and go into our project and start adding the slideshow. So maybe we'll create a div here called slideshow. And then maybe you'll do your actual slide in here, slide one, something like that. And you'll just, you know, you'll add your jQuery code or whatever pro uh, code you want to use for your project. So let's say this is your, your project. You, you got this working for you. Cool. Everything's working. So now that you have this project, um, let's say you're done with the slideshow uh, and you, all the files are done. So if we do get status, We'll see that we've modified the index.html page. Well, let's go ahead and do some more. Let's go into our main.js because we probably need some jQuery stuff. Let's create like a variable. Maybe this is your slideshow application, whatever it is. Slideshow app. We'll just create just a some uh, example JavaScript. So if we do get status again, we'll see we modified two files. So now you can make commits. So let's say you made adjustments to this page and you made different adjustments to this page. You, you don't want to commit both files. You can actually commit uh, one uh, file at a time. So what you need to do is do git add and you want to select index.html so that if we do get status, you'll see that the uh, index.html has been moved to the staging area. So now if I commit this or save an instance of this project, git commit dash m added slideshow html to index.html. So once you do that, get status, you'll see that the HTML has been committed. So that instance is now saved. Now you have this saved and you could reference it. But we, all, we also need to save this as well. So we want to do git add. And you could do uh, either type in JS main that JS or you could do git period. And what this will do is add everything that's uh, listed here. In our case, it's just one file. But if you have multiple files and you want to commit uh, everything all at once, you would just do git add period and it'll get status again. And it's now waiting in staging, uh, ready to be committed. Git commit added the jQuery plugin Oops. for the slideshow. Something like that. So once you do that, check the git status. Perfect. So now nothing's been committed. Uh, uh, we just committed that file, so we're, we're good to go. So what we're in the, uh, if we check the branch, just to double check what branch we're in, we're inside the slideshow branch. So I'm going to jump back to get checkout master. So if we look back over here, we just checked into the master. All that stuff we just did is now gone because it's associated with the uh, slideshow branch. But now we're inside the master branch, and so we haven't actually merged all the work we've done in the slideshow. So let's go that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this would be our workflow. So now let's say our slideshow is perfect. We got it to to do everything we want to do. We want to add it to our master branch, our working project. So the way we would do that, we would need to uh, merge uh, uh, the uh, slideshow branch. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's do git merge, and what we need to do is type in the slideshow of that which is this branch name here and click enter and that merges it. So now that it's merged, if I click back over here, there's all that code we added in back over here. There's that uh, JavaScript we added in perfect. We no longer need the slideshow branch so we can go ahead and delete it. So if I look at get branch over here, you'll see it's still there. We don't need it anymore. We're in the master branch. We just merged everything. So we don't need that slideshow branch anymore. So all you would simply do is get branch minus D and slideshow so that will delete that branch get branch again 
which is that master again it's been merged and you're good to go so as you can see this is a really quick and easy way to work with git where you can create new features and remove features test new features out without actually changing anything so in other words uh this is a great way to control uh, your project without having to you know when, when, imagine if you have a really large project and you know you you make a lot of adjustments to it and you decide that you know what all these adjustments that i don't want to you know actually work with them anymore or maybe your boss or your client says they don't want that anymore you know you'll have to undo a lot of different file uh, lines of code and that's just not going to work in most cases so what you're going to need to do is work with a version control system and git is the way to go and so what git does just to re recap it's going to live inside your project folder in the dot git folder it's going to nothing here you need to worry about it's going to work on its own. It's going to track all the file changes for you. Any any changes you do, it'll notice it for you. So, for instance, if I add another slideshow to here, and I do git status, it'll, it'll be aware of that. Oh, something was modified. So you'll know that you can actually do git diff index.html, and it'll tell you what was modified. So you can really get granular and see exactly what's changed. And once you are happy with that, you do git add. So all of this is currently not in staging mode. So we need to do git add. I'm just going to add everything that was um, not in staging. So now if we just get status again, now it's ready to be committed. Get commit m added a new slide. And now that's been committed. Perfect. So your client didn't want that uh, new addition added to the to the slideshow. So what we could do uh, is check out our commits, get log one line, and we can see this is where we want to be over here. We want to get rid of this commit over here. If we reference this uh, handy uh, page here, we can see that we can completely completely blow away the last commit. That's exactly what we want to do now. So what we need to do is do get reset dash dash hard head. And this little carrot symbol here and we look back over here we'll see that the new slide is now gone and that if we check our log now perfect you'll see that eight this new slide uh, commit is now completely gone and reset for us and we're good to go so this is a brief introduction to git and how to work with git in your local project uh, just go ahead and practice with it. Reference this uh, page here. You, you know, you can make as you know uh, commits uh, as often as possible, particularly when you add uh, large pieces of code or features to the website. And this will this will help you organize your project and without running into the risk of breaking anything in your project. Or uh, if you work on a team, one person could check out into one branch, another person could check out into another branch, and then you could merge that into your master branch. You know, things like that. So you can see it's. It's a really powerful way to work in your project.